Hello, my dear students. Hope your board examinations are going well. Now, there are some chapters or there are some subjects where you need to go for calculation, numericals, and you have to simplify your calculation. For that, you can use log logarithm. And there are some uh, numericals uh, or formulas where log is there in just like in subject like chemistry. Integrated rate equation for first order, Arrhenius equation, Nernst equation, where you have to use logarithm. So today uh, I just giving you some tips how to go for log and how it works. So logarithm. Now I quoted some general basic uh, four formulas that are important for log. That is log x y equal to log x plus of log y. Log x by y is equal to log x minus log y. Log x to the power p is equal to p log x. Log p root x is equal to log x upon p. Now these formulas are very important when you uh, go for the calculation, and you can use these formula to simplify your calculation. Also, you need to remember you need to memorize some values like log two that is 0.3010, log three that is 0.4771, so that you don't waste time in calculating and you are uh, going for the log table. Now, how to just go for the log and how to calculate it? I have taken some numbers like five, twelve point one four. Forty-six, four, sixty-nine point seven, one, one, five, two. So what we decide that is number of digit in the integral part. Now this is very important. Once you go for the log table, what you have to do before going for the log table, you have to decide the characteristic, characteristic of that log. So for that characteristic of that log, you have to see the number of digits in the integral part. So for five, it's only one digit. Twelve point one four. We get two digits in the integral part. That is two. Four six nine point seven. We get three digits in the integral part. So what do we do? Characteristic of the log. So if one digit in the integral part, one minus one zero. Zero will be the characteristic. Two digit in the integral part. Two minus one one. Three digit. Three minus one two. So now characteristic of the log is being decided by this. Now for the mentissa, you can go for the log table and find out like. 12.14. Now the characteristic is one, so one is the characteristic. You can change the point, and then you get the value from the mentis for the mentis from the table. Similarly, some other values, some other number, just like other than this, that is 0.5. You come across 0.5, 0.014, 0.0087. Again, you have to decide the characteristic. So 0.5, number of zeros after decimal. Now this is something different from this. Here we go for the number of integral, uh, the that is number of digit in the integral part. Here we will go for the number of zeros after decimal. So 0.5 we have no zeros after decimal. So what we do? We will use a formula that is minus bracket zero plus one. So zero no zeros in the decimal plus one. We get minus one. So minus one is a characteristic for this. Similarly 0.014. Here one zero after decimal. So the formula minus one plus one. Minus one plus one, we get minus two. Minus two also can be written as two bar. Similarly, minus three. Similarly, three zeros. So minus three plus one, we get minus four. Four bar. So four bar is a characteristic. Again, we get the four bar for this. The characteristic four bar, and then you get the mentissa from the table. You get the log. Now let us go for the entry log. It's completely reverse of the log. Now how it works? Characteristic of the log. That's the log value given. Suppose you go for the calculation, you have to use your the log table. You have to use the log for simplifying your calculation. Then you have to go for anti-log also, so that you get the answer. So for the anti-log, suppose the characteristic is zero in the log. So zero is the characteristic. Now what do you do? You get you have to place you find the value of anti-log. Anti-log is always you have to see from the table. That is you go for the mentissa. After decimal point, you get the values from the table. Then For the characteristic, zero is the characteristic plus one, so one you will place. That is the decimal point from the left. From the left, you place decimal after one digit. Here you get two. So from the left, you place decimal after two digit. Three, three digit. Similarly, two bar. As you can see, two bar. So two bar is the characteristic. So how do you go for the anti-log? Two bar, two minus one. That is one. So you will place the zero number of zeros after decimal. Number of zeros, you place one zero. You will place one zero like this. 
Then four bar you will place three zero. You will place three zero like this. So likewise you will go for the antelope. I will also use one uh, example for you in how to do log. Suppose uh, the question comes calculate the value of log for zero point zero one three zero five. Huh? So what you do first of all your work is to decide the matrix. Matrix how to decide that is point zero. After decimal there is one zero. So after decimal there is one zero. After decimal there is one zero. Formula minus one plus one. आपने निकाला टू बार यू गेट टू बार देन आफ्टर दैट यू गो फॉर फ्रॉम द लॉक टेबल दैट इज फ्रॉम दैट इज द वैल्यू थर्टीन फ्रॉम द टेबल सी थर्टीन जीरो एंड एड फाइव सो एट थर्टीन एंड जीरो कॉलम यू विल गेट वन वन थ्री नाइन एंड एट दिस फिफ्थ कॉलम फ्रॉम द मेन डिफरेंस यू विल गेट सिक्सटीन एट दिस मेन डिफरेंस इन दिस यू विल गेट वन वन फाइव फाइव राइट इट डाउन वन वन फाइव फाइव सो द आंसर इज टू बार Point one one five five. Similarly, if we go for the interval of this two bar point one one five five, first of all again the interval when you go for the interval two bar is the characteristic. Then you have to find out the value two bar. That means that means you have to place the decimal uh, with zero one zero after the decimal point. So you place one zero after the decimal point, and the characteristic of the log is two bar. So That is number of zeros after decimal point is one, so point zero. Then you go from the table eleven. Don't use two because always the interval is being calculated after the decimal. So from the table eleven and column five, eleven five will get one three zero three, and then mean difference two. That is from the column five. You add it one three zero five. You will get point zero one three zero five. That is same. That is a log point zero one three zero five. so this is about log and uh, use this uh, method to calculate the log and i'm sure that you will uh, get the answers and do practice